also the Honourable Simon Birmingham back to the stage to present the Minister for Trade, Tourism and Investments Investment Award. This award is presented to an international company or joint venture making a long-term contribution here through its investment in our economy. To succeed in business, to succeed in exporting, it of course takes a few things. It takes, it takes an idea, it takes enterprise, and unfortunately, as you all know, it takes some investment. It takes some money as well. And Australia is a country that fortunately has always been open to investment. Investment by Australians within Australian businesses, but investment coming from right around the world. And this award seeks to acknowledge the fact that in foreign investment, we are a welcoming country. We are a country that seeks to encourage those to come here to build a bigger, better, more prosperous Australia and to create more opportunities for all of you. Over the last five years, we've seen some $650 billion worth of investment come to Australia. Many small projects, medium projects, but also some substantial projects. And just the other week, I had the pleasure uh, of joining the Prime Minister and the Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, in Darwin to acknowledge one of the biggest investments our nation has seen that is going to generate $40 billion plus of export revenue over the years to come at a bare minimum. Tonight, the winner of the investment award goes to INPEX. Thank you very much, INPEX, for your support of Australia. Accepting the award tonight on behalf of INPEX is External Affairs Manager John Williams and Government Approvals Manager Mark Robinson. is leading the Ixus project, the US $34 billion liquefied natural gas project off the coast of Western Australia. This project is expected to generate $195 billion in export. Um, I just want to um, ask you, would you like to say a few words? You're actually being given a bit of time because it is a very big award. Yes. What yeah. would you like to say? Um, absolutely. I think... Um um, for NPEX, I think we're um, a, a project that a lot of people didn't think would actually happen. Um, way back in 1998, uh, we came to Australia with a handful of staff, and um, at the time, we actually we couldn't even um, use a credit card. We actually really needed um, proof to, to say that we're actually a genuine company. Um, we discovered a gas field in 2000, um, 400 kilometres off the coast of Western Australia, and um, we decided that we'd develop it. Um, we needed um, the world's largest project financing to do that. So with the help of 16 foreign banks, as well as Australia's top four banks, we uh, secured the largest ever debt raising finance of $20 billion. And uh, from that, we were able to make a final investment decision and proceed to develop the gas fields off the northwest coast and pipe that through a 890 kilometre pipeline, the same distance as Melbourne to Sydney, all the way to Darwin. Wow. And so um, it really is one of the world's most complex liquefied natural gas projects. Um, and uh, we're really proud that over 1,100 Australian businesses won work on the project. It's about 34% local content, um, with um, over $160 million in contracts also going to Australian Aboriginal businesses. So we're very proud of the project. It's delivered benefits to both Broome and Darwin and right across Northern Australia. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations.